Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mohammed. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply for a mobile food vending license. Um, so basically, mobile food vending license is a person that's planning to work in a push cart or in a truck that sells food items such as uh, like gyros and lambs or stuff like that. Or if they just want to open up their uh, small coffee shop on a stand that sells only like donuts and coffee and tea. You need a food vendor license for that so it's quite simple in this video i'm just going to show you what you need so the mobile food vendor license is issued by the department of health um you will be processed through the obviously from the department of consumer affairs uh, at 42 broadway but obviously you know they want to make sure everything's correct so you will be you'll have your license from there um but how do you what do you need i'll show you what you need basically uh, if you just go on on the website, uh, double, if you just go on Google and type in food vendor license, uh, this sh page should pop up, which just should be looking like this. Uh, once you see this page, but and after this, tell you what you need. Basically, just click on apply. You click on apply over here. Uh, basically, before you apply, they actually do need a certificate of authority. To uh, basically, uh, they want you to see that you know. Obviously, this is for people that are planning to open up their own push cards and everything you do need that because you'll be collecting sales tax um i'm just gonna show uh, basically this is what they need before you even start the application um there is a uh, if you need to apply as a regular person without without just working there uh you don't need to do that basically the certificate authority but just double check i think you do need it even if you're working there they just want to see if you recall if you're going to be uh you know obviously every three months so you do need a certificate authority certificate authority meaning that you know if you're going to be working in a food a food cart uh, they just want to see every three months you're going to be filing taxes so that's what the basically the purpose of certificate authority is so if you're using your own license they want to see you filing taxes every three months so that's the purpose of the certificate authority so you can't even get the license if i'm correct but you need this first hand so you obviously get this apply for this first it takes about 20 days once you get the certificate authority you have to take a food protection course for mobile food vendors and obviously once you pass the course and everything and you pay for the course obviously uh, they issue the license but they also you know before you do all that they want to see your proof of home address such as if you're driving license uh, you know obviously they want to see your affidavit of a home address to see make sure everything's correct you need to provide your social security number or your tax ID number which is also called I-10 account uh, if you obviously they want to see your government if you issue driving license or passport whatever you can show as proof uh, New York City environment to control required to determine that there are no health code for New York City administrative court violation they want to make sure that if you had the violation making sure that you don't have any type of violation on your license maybe you're applying for brand new license and you know you used the license before um, there is no license P if the person presented proof of honorable discharge from the United States Armed Services in the form of New York State Parallel certificate or form DD two fourteen discharge document the United States uh, Veteran Services. Basically, if you if you have an honorable discharge, uh, you will not be able to. Uh, obviously, you're exempt from paying. So the license of permit fee is this: it's fifty dollars for two years license check or money order, or it's ten dollars seasonal. I mean, you could also do seasonal as well, but most people want to do it for the two years. Uh, there's fifty three dollar fee for mobile food vendor protection courts. Uh, you're gonna be taking a class for it. It's it's very simple. It's very easy, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you could even you know like that is ask you basic questions. You know about uh, about common sense questions. It shouldn't be that difficult. So once you pass the test, they obviously give you the license. You have a picture license that looks you know obviously have a picture on it and everything um basically that's how it is make sure that you know you uh, you you know you, everything's correct uh you can go to the department of consumer affair obviously you know making sure everything is this is the place 42 broadway lobby new york new york 1004 you could go there and tell them listen i want to apply for this uh you know i want to become a food vendor license what's the what's the requirement and they will help you help you out with everything uh this is i think for the uh, mobile food vendor license application form obviously you want to make sure that you know uh what they are you want to know about it everything uh you could you, you know this just tell you that if you're doing an individual uh you know what you need uh, like for example individually here all adequate section completed supplement form of applicable fee you know obviously will tell you what you what you're doing you know obviously if you're doing an individual if you're doing a part of a corporation we will see for people that are planning to open their own food vendor license uh, in business obviously so we want to make sure everything's correct and you know uh, you don't want to mess everything up so this is the application fee so you gotta fill all this out and obviously this uh, every rules do change so you want to make sure you go there and do ask them for them you know like if you go there in person or, or actually call them it'd be much better off saving yourself time um you know i'm going to make sure that you know you bring in the correct documents and everything but these are the, some of the basic requirements so after you apply 
and everything it will tell you what you need after you submit the application it does take three weeks to get the license by mail obviously this is the new york city department of health and mental hygiene uh health academy riverside health center 160 west 100 street new york new york 10025 this is the place and you know this is all you know like obviously every two years you're going to be or whatever you apply for for example a seasonal whatever you know you want to make sure everything is correct so that's how you apply for the mobile food vendor license uh if you have any other questions or comments please comment subscribe i'll be helping you guys as much as possible uh thank you again for watching the videos i hope i helped you as much as possible so it was quite simple for this uh you know for the you know this type of thing a lot of people don't know how to apply for this so i just said you know what let me make a video and show you guys what to do and how to apply uh, thank you again for watching the videos i hope you enjoyed it